Hello everyone, Abdul Muqsith here with another tutorial of Croco blog. Today we're going to discuss how you can build a dynamic social media post for your CPT. Right now we have a CPT called event and each time we have an event we are posting it on social media including Instagram and Facebook. Currently we are designing it in Canva or Photoshop but we want to automate this process. So we will do it with the help of Croco blog today. Let's start it. Alright, so considering our CPT, which is event, we have title of the event, when it will be held, the type of the event, a picture and the department, etc. Here in our social media post, we will add the background as a feature image, it will be as a background. We have the logo of the institute, title of the event, details. On the right side, we will use the speaker and the speaker detail. Now, speaker is child of event there is already a relationship built in croco blog okay so first we will go to our single template this is our single template where we show everything here i will take a new section okay usually the width of the instagram or social media post is 1080 by 1080 or you can take 900 by 900 okay and the height I will take 900 okay I will make the vertical the column position to stretch okay first thing we will click on the section and go to style and we will add the background which will be our feature image okay now we will position it center or let's make it default and we will make it cover perfect now the second thing we need a logo on the top and we need event details so event detail again they are two columns so we will take an inner section okay so on the left side we have event details right side speaker detail on top of it we have our logo so I will take an image search for logo I'll take this logo okay let's make it medium on the left side now Let's click on this section and we will make space between. Okay, so the logo on the top and another section on the bottom as per our template. So first thing we have the event title. So let's change it to post title. Okay, this is the post title. Let's change the color to white. And let's make it a bit bigger all right then we have some uh, metadata like the event date so let's take dynamic field and metadata and we will choose the date so the date of the event is 8th of february let's go to field output and change the date format to a more readable format perfect change the color to white now let's add a white shadow to the background all right let's change it to white black you can design the template as per your requirement I'll change the position to inline okay take a duplicate change start date it will start date remove the filter okay it will start at 17 uh, we will add uh, 
एट ओके और राइट इट विल स्टार्ट ऑन फेब्रवरी एट एट सेवन सेवनटीन पी एम वॉट एल्स वी नीड लेट्स चेक द स्टार्ट टाइम द ड्यूरेशन ओके सो द ड्यूरेशन इज वन आवर वी विल एड जस्ट द ड्यूरेशन डुप्लीकेट एंड हेयर वी चूज द ड्यूरेशन इज वन आवर All right. So these are the information about the meta field. Let's make it a bit wider. Okay. Now I want to add these badges also. These are the taxonomies. I'll take a duplicate of this. That what is the type of the event? It's a webinar. and it is held by this department perfect we need a little bit space on the top okay now speaker so speaker let's make it centralized and reduce the font size okay so for the speaker we need to build a listing first okay I'll go to dashboard jet engine and listings here we need a new listing for post uh, what is the post type it's speaker okay single speaker for social media so what we need we need image of the speaker and title take a fee uh, section we have image which is the feature image of the speaker perfect let's make it small uh we take it like 150 pixels and border radius of 100 to make it circle circular A heading for the title. All right. Let's save it. Go back to Elementor. Single page. Let's try the listing grid. Okay, and the name is social media or something. All right. we got all speakers but we need speaker of this event only so we'll go to post query add item post and other parameter include by post id click on dynamic tag go to macros and here we choose related child from speaker okay so we got our speaker profile now it's on the left side because it is showing Three. Let's make it one. It's clear now. Okay. Let's update it. Let's see our post. So we got a dynamic template for Instagram or for Facebook or wherever you want to use. Just click on print screen, and you can. save it and you can use it wherever you want now you can fine tune the the layout for example this area is very empty so what you can do you can decrease the size of this one let's make it a bit smaller update and update all right now we got another problem this template will appear to visitors also but they don't need it it's specifically for the admin so we will go to dynamic visibility click on this section advanced dynamic visibility enable it and we will show the element if user is logged in okay 
so this is specifically for us or our team let's refresh it so we see the template i will copy the link and go to incognitive and paste and see whether we can see the template or not okay it's not visible here perfect let's check on another template another webinar or something okay so it is applied on all our templates i hope you like this tutorial if you have any question please write in the comments thank you so much